beautiful people if you're new here welcome to life with courage thank you so much for clicking on this video and i assure you you're going to enjoy it if you're not new thank you for always coming back and for supporting your girl please make sure you subscribe to this channel before you leave today so in this video we'll be talking about something very important we'll be giving you some tips some secrets some pertinent oh, yes. hints about marriage how to have a fulfilled and happy marriage so here with me i know we are having a strange face on our channel <laughs> today this is my very very good friend my sister yeah i know we look alike yeah too much <laughs> <laughs> so her name is blessing and she's actually a blessing and she has so many things to talk about marriage she has been married for how many years three years okay but i've been a committed relationship for nine years oh yes we she's, together she's for the best person years. to talk to you about this topic <laughs> so keep watching and make sure you watch till the end so the first thing we'll be talking about today is dialogue 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 communication oh, yes. back and forth i know you've heard about this all the time anytime you talk about marriage you talk about dialogue is inevitable you must mention dialogue because without dialogue in any society there'll be violence there'll be chaos there'll be war there'll be lack of understanding actually so dialogue is very important in marriage because it's a union between two people oh, yes. and without dialogue they won't be able to understand themselves they will be able to know what is going on with the other person all right just to add we know that yeah communication is key but sometimes you can communicate all you want if there is not understanding it will not go anywhere so communicate in the way you think that your partner flows with it sometimes you think you're communicating while you're instead putting more fire for the problem like sometimes there is an issue you come to your husband i'm not happy about this thing that you have done and um, can we talk I, I i feel like we should talk that moment you think you're okay you're not though that time you're accusing blames yeah you know that that you are still hot hot you don't, you're not in the best that is not to communication that at that all issue. yes you have to look for the time when you are calm you're presenting your feelings you're not putting the blames on your husband you the husband you're not putting the blames on your wife exactly. you're saying how you felt about this issue that will go a long way I miss the communication your husband will accept okay i know this idea was not right i'm sorry okay you you too i'm very sure at one point you said something i'm sorry people move on like this life one thing i always say is that it's too short for you to be unhappy especially in your marriage exactly force that communication there are times that okay silence helps but let it not go long exactly. when you feel that you are hot it's eating you up you know that if you talk you will be harsh you be insulted, be quiet. When you're less, you see that you're calm. Okay, try to you can talk. Do not let silent treatment get the best of mm. your marriage. Silent treatment is your a relationship. No. It's a no-no. No, Same no. as talking unnecessarily or insulting your words. partner. It's not going to help. It's going to aggravate the yeah. issue. So move on to the next point. The next important tip. Very important. Understanding your partner's love language. What is love language? I'm sure you know, okay? The love language, for me, love language is what you do to make your partner feel love. loved. Some people, they prefer gifts. Yes. Some people, quality they feel time. loved more when you spend quality time with Attention. them. Attention. Some people, they, they love when, when you people go, go out yeah, you just go romantic out. dates exactly yes. so you need to understand exactly what makes your partner feel loved some is just petting yeah. nice names calling all the sweet names some people are like all those touchy touchy all those yeah. nice nice mm -hmm. cute, cute. some people don't like it actually they yeah. prefer something else some people will prefer their gifts mm -hmm. if you know that your wife loves gifts buy for her if you know that your man your hobby loves gifts buy for him hey yes don't wait for him to keep don't doing wait the buy. For stop doing the wrong thing for the wrong person if your husband yes. loves to spend time with you if you're a busy career woman okay try this is mostly for the men we women we love our attention we love our quality that don't think there's any woman 100%. that wants gifts more forget than... about the gifts 
we lost quality we lost quality time. time. We lost spend feeling like we are a husband. We are just babies. around your wife. Oh yes, calling her the sweet names. Those are our love languages. Mm -hmm. I'm my sister. Yeah, I'm sure so we have those. Don't same. waste your time buying all sorts of gifts for your wife when I'll, you cannot spare some. I'd rather you give me your time than to mm -hmm. buy me gifts. And I also love romantic outings. Ooh. Yes, go and eat nice shawarma. <laughs> eat. We chat, all of that. I love to communicate. Deep communications, yeah. So it's very important to understand your understand, partner's know what your love partner, language. And you implement it. If exactly. you really want your marriage to be happy, you will not be in the house and you're just like too, um, how do you call it, deaf. You don't talk you're, to you're, each you're other. You're just looking at each other like, I don't know, furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Please so, implement those. How to know something blessing? Yeah, it doesn't mean you should stick to one love language. Or no, can that is where vary. They call it diversity. Yeah. Make like um being spontaneous. The, it goes with 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 the period. It goes with the days. You just have to be studying your partner. That people have people can like me. I have more than one love language. I have many. I have like three four like that yeah. but yeah. that the ones you ask those are ranking top, yes. yes those are up coming down okay, like, okay. Mm -hmm. so you cannot just be one i don't think so okay. for men there's also something some men their love language is funny that i have noticed some men love powerful independent women a woman that works that is somebody like my husband he wants me to be up and doing active active Independently, I can't say I'm not active. I try my best, but I know I'm not yet meeting up to his expectations. Like that makes him feel like I'm being more supportive. Yeah. So, so many men love it like that. Many men when their wife, their woman is on industrious, let's put it like industrious, that. Industrious. Yes. Adventurous. Yes. You like to get things done. Mm -hmm. You don't just plan and leave them out. Yes. You plan actually yes. get to the end of it. Mm -hmm. So we we'll move on to the next. We'll move on to the next. Piece, the next secret to a fulfilling and happy marriage. Oh, mutual respect. Show sure. hero instinct. Because every woman wants to be respected by the husband. You want your husband to look at you every time like this is my woman, especially am am amongst people. Yeah. Hold you. This is my wife. Then back at home, show you that respect. Don't talk to you harshly. Maybe when you do something. Be nice, especially in the manner of talking. Maybe when there is a situation, the words is around people. Show you that respect. Okay, be faithful. Show you that respect. That is a, that is a sign. That is a way of showing you yeah. that you respect your partner, okay. right? Being very respect. Being very faithful. Yeah. Exactly. So you mentioned the hero instinct. What yeah. exactly is this hero instinct? This is a secret, man. There was one time when I and my hubby we had some issues, then we were dating. So I, was, I just went on Google, like ways to really make your man happy. But I can say I've been trying. I didn't know I was actually practicing the hero instinct. I was doing it without knowing. So I stumbled on it, like I recommend for every girl, go and check on Google, the hero instinct. Check on it, and you see something that's going to shock you. Like yeah. men love their respect, us women we love Definitely. our respect too. Definitely. But the hero instinct, this don't feel proud, especially when it's your husband. Okay, if you're in a committed relationship and you want to take it to another level, to so engagement, you have to apply. It. Trust me, many girls do it or no, without knowing that that is what it's called, yeah. and the men. They love it. Making your man. Hmm? Some people think that maybe you're going too low. You, you will give yourself for him to trample on. Some people say that you will do that and the man will not still respect and love you. He will still cheat. He will still... Trust me, it works. My hobby told me. If it doesn't work, you are not just meant to be. Yes, it just works. Be. There is no man that will... The hero instinct is simply treating your man like your war like making him know that he means everything to you you can't do without him that exactly. is exactly it's more than respect men love their respect but when they know that they are your hero he is your hero he is your everything man he will cling to you the one that one woman that they can know that Bless she you. loves me <laughs> she cannot do without me <laughs> I'm saying that my friend was like, yeah. She's telling herself, hobby is close to her. 
Ah, I'm sure he knows, Sha. He knows, he knows. So, I know I sometimes I'm not perfect. I do some things that I'm not right. I'm very sure my husband knows that he's my lord. That you obviously Lord. let him know that you cannot let him know. Him. Talk to him. Tell him, and do actions that make him know that he is your lord. Yeah, you it's not just about him. saying it. It's not just about writing messages. Like there are so many situations that I read when you're reading about it. Like a guy left the girlfriend. They were very like so much in love at the beginning yeah. two three months he completely went shut down on her no communication so when she went and saw her counselor her counselor her counselor spoke to her about the hero instinct he said he has helped a lot of beginning relationships with that yeah. and even couples that are married it's just a 12 letter word that she wrote to him like you are my everything i cannot live without you like before evening the guy was at her door and he played it they made up everything until they got married the story is there if you read on the hero instinct on yeah. Google. You so you see how far depth. it really touches the depth of a man to know that you're just everything so move on to the next secret i know you love hero instinct just go and check it out yeah like blessing said yeah. move on to the next thing the next Plan. hint which is planning they always say that failing to plan is planning to fail. Oh, yes. If you cannot sit down and plan and strategize with your partner, with your significant other, I'm sorry, you always have issues in your home here. You always have differences. You always have misunderstandings because you both don't come together to trace a path on which you both are going to tread. Yeah. Each person is going on his or her own direction. Which is not supposed to be the case. You should not live like tenants under one roof. In order for that not to happen, you need to actually try and sit down and plan. It is not easy to sit down and plan because when single, you're doing your things as an individual. You don't ask for anybody's opinion and so on. Now the case is different. You need to sit together, try as much as possible to involve the other person. About everything. About everything. The little things. Everything. You think maybe... Do not know something thinking that it, do, it doesn't count or it is too minor yeah for you it may be minor but that is one important aspect your spouse needs to know about yeah. or your partner very important planning you have to plan about um the big things building projects uh maybe getting a car and all that those are the big projects the little things family in-laws how you will cope with them you have budgeting, budgeting, budgeting how to manage the home, exactly. everything. Like some of us will not like to do um a list of full stuffs and all of that. Some men will say, some women will say, say no, I cannot do me list. But if you have a man that prefers that you do a budget, everything you want to buy for the month, yeah. full stuff, groceries, what you need, put it down, let it be clear. Men have many things on their head. They are thinking about the big project. Exactly. When you do like that, okay, he sees it is over and done with. That's planning. Some, something else. He yes. knows that you have handled that aspect. Yes. That is it. Yeah. And he knows that you are there supporting him yeah. in other domains. Yeah. And he is not carrying all the load alone. Yeah. Like having to think about small things and also having to think about the big things. Yeah. So you should always support the other person. And that can only happen if you sit down and plan together. Involve each other in your plans. Yeah. So there is other important point we cannot miss out yeah. on, which is tolerating your partner's weaknesses, flaws. tolerating your partner's flaws, trying to There's live no with them. Human. There's no perfect human. Actually. You yourself, you are not perfect. Exactly. So don't claim as if whatever your partner does, you have to hammer on it you have to get yeah. angry at it yeah. you know you have to learn how to tolerate how to live with it change what you can change and pray to live with what you cannot change yeah there's something we have to understand about attitude personality the person has it deep within so there are some that's why they always say i'll change this person will change when i get married <laughs> change does not come like that there's personality molding there's a the social sangue yeah. We have the powerful choleric, we have the uh, phlegmatics, we have melancholic four. So, so uh, sanguines are sociable people. They are the extroverts, the sanguines and the choleric, they are extroverts, they talk. 
why the phlegmatic and the melancholic they are calm people so before getting married you know that your partner has this personality Ah, my husband, we did a personality test. I know his personality. He knows mine. She's actually a guidance counselor, guys. <laughs> That's so, why he talks like this. So he knows. You don't expect somebody to switch. Something that the person has built from nurture and environment. That's growing up. From the parents, the, and then that's that's the was born with it. Yes, then Look some up. things that environment contributed. Yeah. That's things around the, the nature. Yes, the because you're married, the person will just change. Yep. It's not easy now. Nah. You too, you have your things that you know very well that you don't do right. Exactly. So you just have to tolerate. There are times that it's like <laughs> you're angry, but just chill and let go and you people move on happily exactly. because i'm very sure he too tolerates you she also tolerates exactly, you so. exactly so we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching thank you all we watching. thank blessing for being on this channel i'm sure you loved her here and i'm sure she's going to yeah, come back you'll be seeing definitely me. because she has a lot to tell us <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank always you for coming watching. back. Make sure you subscribe Please to this subscribe. channel. Subscribe. Please like this video and see you in the next. Bye. Bye.